just want to make a quick video um i'm out here so so we finally broke into a park and you know when you break into a park they you know for for those new mobile home investors that don't know that's um that means you the park is okay with you being there and you are you know officially you know an investor inside the park or maybe 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 you might be in the park and they just let you buy the home thinking you're going to live in a home but that's not really breaking into a park when you when you really breaking into a park is when you when they know exactly what you're doing you inside the park and they're comfortable with you being in the park um they allow you to be there they you know they've given you the title to the home that you purchased from the park or from the home um, from a home a private owner inside the park um but they they know what you're doing you fixing up you bringing value to the park you know so um we at the home now um in this particular park i'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here and, uh, walk up these stairs this ramp is kind of shaky right here so i had to put some you can't see it but can you see it i had to put some plywood down there actually my partner fell through there you know painting and then the pressure washer guy fell through there you know what I'm saying so and then I almost fell through the other day so we threw some plywood down there to try to try to uh, tighten it up a little bit you know but honestly it feels good being in the park and and everyone knows what's going on you know what i'm saying because we you know you, we went through some some issues where and you're gonna go through those issues we got a lock box on here where you're gonna be in the park and you you hiding everything you do is on a low and you don't you know the park manager don't want you don't really want you there and you know you got a uh, you in there on a the sneak tip you feel me? You don't want to be in the park on a sneak tip. You want to be in the park like, yeah, I'm here. You want to be able to go inside the office every day if you want to. Like, yo, what's up? What y'all eating for lunch? Lunch on me. You feel me? Especially once you done closed a couple deals. The only thing I like about this this particular home is they got a lot of spiders out here. Spider webs in the backyard. You can't even enjoy your backyard. You go back there. Tell me you go back there. Smell that. You, uh, every time you go back there in the backyard, you gotta uh, fight off spider webs. So another good thing, electricity works good in here. I was afraid about that. We wasn't sure because the last home we had, we had some electrical issues. So um, it seemed like when you go through something in one home, you you kind of subconsciously you think you're gonna go through that in every home you get. So it's kind of psychologically it does something to you like the last one we had they had a reverse current issue inside the mobile home so if you don't know what that is i just that was the first time i ever heard of that i had to google it and look it up on youtube and all this other stuff but it's a reverse current issue when electricity when the uh the lightning comes in from outside if it's a storm outside and it hits the ground and the electricity apparently it travels through the ground i didn't know that it travels, somebody explained it to me, it travels through the ground and it, it'll come into the home. It comes into the home. But if you have a relay, reverse current relay on your home, on your mobile home, it, it just pushes it back out. It pushes the electricity back out. Um, if you, if you, if, well, if you have a reverse current, if, if you have a reverse current relay on the home somewhere, it, I don't know where it go, but I guess on a breaker somewhere, it pushes the, it pushes the current back out, pushes the electricity back out. Um, in this particular home, they didn't have one, so it came in and it fried some stuff. So it was a not this home right here, but the last one we sold. It fried some stuff, so it was an issue. It created a reverse current issue in there. So some of the outlets were frying. If you plug something in the outlet, it just it just fry it. It just fry whatever you plugged in. 
And it didn't happen to us while we was working in there. I plug, We plugged a few things up in there. I think we plugged in a light, maybe a phone charger or something like that. And we was good. You know, thank God for that. But uh, the people we sold it to, and we were transparent. Because that's one of my biggest things, transparency. I try to let people know. I said, listen, that's the first thing I said. Listen, two issues. We don't have a title. At the time, we ain't had a title. It was in the mail. We was waiting on it to come back in the mail. I said, we don't have a title yet. And I said, it got a reverse current issue. Oh, excuse me, reverse current issue on a home. And it was like, most people was like, they was more concerned about the title than the reverse current issue. They didn't really care about that. It's like, okay, whatever, I get that fixed. So I was like, all right, cool. As long as you know, don't come back to me talking about, talking about you, uh, you plug something up. But anyway, this is the home. Very nice home, solid. Solid, you know, plywood floors. Very solid. Very solid floors. The windows are, are great. These are pretty good windows. They got the storm windows. You got one on the inside and it's actually another. It's a double-sided window. Um, so those are those are great. They had an issue up here. I don't know what that was about. I could see on the floor there. It was kind of it's kind of dark right there. So the water must have been getting right here. Even then, it's still solid. Even then, that's what you get when you get this quarter inch plywood or this half inch. I don't know if this half inch or quarter inch, but when you get this this real plywood down here, see if that was OSB, my foot would have went through the floor. If that was that OSB, that particle board, you know what I'm saying? The walls on this thing, solid. So even if it had some water damage, it didn't do much. You know, everything is is uh, everything is pretty solid. That's a leaf right there hanging from the spider web. I don't know if you can see that, but. Anyway, just doing a little quick walkthrough. Gotta do my little stop. I'm trying to get the smell from out of here. It don't smell that great in here though. That's the only thing. Yeah, we cleaned this floor, but this smell is not good. We cleaned this floor, but it didn't dry proper. It didn't dry proper. That's what uh, that's what I'm afraid of. This floor didn't dry properly, so we gotta clean it again. Try to get a professional to come out here. Get a professional to come out here um, and clean it. One one of the main tools you're gonna need in these mo mo mobile homes, probably depending on what, what kind of mobile home you get, or what type of condition it's in, is a wet vac. You're gonna need that good old fashioned wet vac. This thing was uh it's like sixty five dollars, but. It's gonna save you, uh, save you so much money. It's gonna save you so much money in the long run. It's beyond worth it. But 65, 70 bucks, you can't beat it. You know what I'm saying? So, let me open up this window because we put some, uh, they call this stuff. Put some uh, pneumonia, some lemon scented pneumonia in here, and uh, apparently I can smell that pneumonia a little bit, but it doesn't seem like it's helping much. It seems like it's making the situation, making the situation worse. So uh, that's the gist of it. It's just, it's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of work, period, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, nobody gonna do it for you. So you just gotta try to get it done. Just gotta try to get it done the best way you can.
if it's only you and your, your uh, depending on what kind of team you got, me and my team, uh, we should have hired, we were supposed to hire somebody to come help us do all this stuff, but we ended up doing it ourselves, trying to save money, and it wasn't because we was trying to save money because it wasn't like we had money, we were just trying not to spend it. It was because we, you know, we really didn't have it to, to use it. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, we was on a tight budget. You feel me? So we kind of, you know, basically fell into just, you know, just doing it ourselves type of thing with the, the far as far as fixing stuff, cleaning stuff up and fixing stuff. But it's best to pay somebody to do all that stuff. On my next deal, I'll definitely pay someone to come and do all that stuff because it takes so much time and energy of your own to do this stuff. It is, uh, it's really ridiculous. You know, uh, when you got four kids, um, to look after at the same time, you know what I'm saying? The kids doing homeschool at the same time while we out here working on a mobile home, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, um, it's just a lot, you know, my family, you know, everyone's involved, you know what I'm saying? So every, everybody's involved, everybody, the little babies trying to rake up stuff and sweeping and the, 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 my son holding the, the trash bag or he holding the ply, the pry bar for me so I can do some stuff with it, you know what I mean? So everybody's involved, you know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, if they weren't here, they would be home, you know, pretty much doing whatever. So, you know, my family, my wife, and they like to be here involved in the situation. So uh, even when I try to come by myself, it's, it's always an issue, you know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it 100. You know what I mean? So I just we they all come along because they wanted my wife definitely hands on as my partner. You know what I'm saying? So that's how we doing it. So I just hope that everything work out for the best. You know we're gonna keep on moving forward and uh, you know just trying to keep get it. You know we're gonna try to continue to just get it done. Just like when you at your nine to five, you have issues at your nine to five. You don't stop. You don't you don't go home and you know say I'm done with this job. You know what I'm saying? You can't do that. Because you, you want to clock. You're going to get fired. So it's the same thing with your business. You got to say, even if you got some issues you're dealing with, you know what I'm saying? You say, you know what? It is what it is. We just going to keep moving and, you know, uh, hope for the best. Try to learn from our mistakes. So, you know, and like I said, next time I just pay somebody to come and and get all this stuff done. Uh, and it's a lot easier that way. And you can just kind of monitor what they're doing. But anyway, um... It is what it is. It's your boy Abdul Hafid. Just trying to show a little something, something about what's going on here. About to start working on this kitchen now. You know, as you can see, we did a little bit, but we got a long way to go. Long way to go. A little virtual, little swing around. That's the kitchen. That's the bathroom. It's a three bedroom. This is a big home. It's a big home. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. That's the uh, laundry room. So, gotta change that light bulb in there. So, it is what it is. Alright, take it easy. And if you out here grinding, keep grinding. And trust and believe, it's not for everybody. You know, it's not. It's, it's really not. It's really not. I, I threaten myself to quit a lot. I threaten myself to quit a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, man, I'm about to quit. Because this is not, you know, I ain't signed, you know, I ain't know it was going to be all like this. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know, it's the beginning stage. This is only deal number three. Um, so once we sell this one and move on to deal number four, you know, we I'll keep you posted. Keep you all posted with that, too, just to see the journey. All right. All right take it easy.